today's lesson is over learning target three, where it states that I can multiply a binomial expression. So here, a binomial is a specific kind of algebraic expression that has two terms. Okay, so an example would be like 4x minus 6 or x plus 3. Okay, a standard form hopefully you recall from our quadratic expressions. This is the format that we had all those um, expressions written in in the last learning target where it's ax squared plus bx plus c. So when we say standard form, that means the x squared term is first, then the x term is next, and then the number that is has no variable attached to it is last. Okay, so here we're going to be using rule number one from our exponent property unit. So when I have two parentheses, I'm going to multiply the numbers, and then anytime I have variables, I'm going to add the exponents. So here for number one, I have x plus 3 times x minus 7. So I'm going to use my area model box that we used before, and so do it in reverse of what we did in the last one where we were factoring. So in this first box, I'm actually like where the x and the x meet up, I'm multiplying those to get the x squared. And then the 3 and the x meet up, and they're multiplying to get 3x. x and negative 7 meet up to get negative 7 times x. And then the numbers meet up to multiply to get me negative 21. So then I can pull them out of the box, and then I notice that two terms are like, so then I can add them together. So 3x minus 7x would give me negative 4x. So then x squared minus 4x minus 21 is my answer. Okay? And we can use this model for anything or any um, set of multiplication between binomial expressions. So, and it doesn't matter which one goes on top and which one goes on the left side. Um, it'll work out the same way. So here I have 4x times x gets me 4x squared. Negative 9 times x gives me negative 9x. 1 times 4x gives me 4x. Negative 9 times 1 gives me negative 9. And then when I pull them out, like terms of negative 9x and 5x or 4x go together. So it gets me negative 5x. And then that is my quadratic expression. Okay, now there's another way of doing this. We call this the FOIL method. So this is an acronym that stands for first, outside, inside, last. So that's just a way of remembering the order of what you multiply. So it's kind of like using your distributive property. So for number three, I could take uh, negative two and the 6 because they're both the first terms of that binomial and multiplying them together. So negative 2x times 6 is negative 12x. Then the outside term, so negative 2x and negative 5x, would get multiplied together to get me 10x squared. And then uh, negative 4 times 6 would be my inside terms. So they're like the innermost ones. So negative 4 times 6 is negative 24. And then negative 4 times negative 5x would be 20x. And so then now I can kind of write them together as an expression and put them together or kind of put like terms together. So negative 12x and 20x go together. And then I can write this in standard form. So I write the 10x squared first, then plus 8x minus 24. That's my answer. Now I don't have to write out this whole line. I can just use arrows to notate what I'm multiplying. So 15 times negative 3x and then negative 45x. 15 times 11 are my outside terms. Uh, x and negative 3x are my inside terms get multiplied. And then x times 11 get multiplied because they're my last terms. I see that negative 45x and 11x are like terms. So I put them together. Gets me negative 34x. And then that's my quadratic expression. Okay? Have fun.